everyone. We are in the kitchen with Miss Allison Davis here at Wild Time. And what do you have cooking up for us today? This looks, again, <laughs> delish. <laughs> All right, so we were talking before we got on camera, and I'm like, okay, we're making a pizza dip, and we've got cream cheese and sour cream and Parmesan. She was, wait a second. She's like, this is just not a diet. <laughs> I go, this um, is the Allison Davis right, diet. We're talking ketogenic, but um, I think the big thing for me to kind of reiterate is that these are some some of these recipes this week are indulgences, right? But it's not going to take you out of your keto state. Yeah. It's going to just, at, you know, keep you going. Right, right. Um, but you don't break the diet. Obviously, I wouldn't advise you to eat pizza dip every day of the week. You, <laughs> you <know>? wouldn't? <laughs> no, no, I can't say that that would get you the same results. <laughs> Low carbs, higher fat, yeah. um, no sugars. But like something like this mm -hmm. on the weekend, this is going to just be right in line with the foods you're eating and not be right. um, adding carbs or unnecessary sugars into your diet. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah. I don't know that I would eat this every day, yeah. um, but um, definitely this is something you can indulge on. Well, I still, I like your diet, so. <laughs> yeah, it's I'm working so it. far. All right, so I'm taking some cream cheese. Okay. Um, this is softened a bit, so uh, let it sit out kind of at room temperature. Okay. Um, along with some Parmesan, and then I've got a little sour cream going in here. And if we are just going to kind of whip this a little okay. bit as best we can. Um, and then this is going to get spread on the bottom of our dish. I've just oh, got okay. like a little baking dish there. Uh -huh. um, basically, this is a layered dip that I am going to serve with, say, like uh, celery sticks. Yeah. But I could also use, um, I'm going to use the whole block. What am I thinking? Yeah, let's use it. <laughs> um, you could also use this with um, some Ezekiel bread, um, which is what I grabbed over there if you want to look uh -huh. at kind of the carb count on that loaf of bread. All right. Um, it's a lower carb, and I thought we could take some garlic and maybe some of that grass-fed butter and kind of toast those up like in little sticks. Oh, yeah, yeah. And those would be like little garlic bread sticks that you could have with this dip. Yum. Yeah, this is, uh, what, 15 grams. Right, which is okay. crazy. So yeah. Crazy low. Yep. All right, so High now fiber. we've got Good. that sour cream and the cream cheese kind of whipped together. Okay. Um, um, with a little bit of that Parmesan. So this is going to go in on the bottom. All right. All right. So this is really, more or less, we are just like layering this puppy. All right. All right. So got our cream cheese in. And don't worry so much about it being perfect because we're putting this in the oven and this is going to get um, blistery and bubbly and it's all going to come together anyway. Okay. I'm going to grab a paper towel. Sounds good. All right, so some of the pizza seasonings I'm going to sprinkle like right on top, and I just pick these up. I really like these sometimes for convenience. Is the minced onion and the minced garlic because mm -hmm. you get that real flavor yeah. um, happening. All right, so a little minced onion, a little minced garlic, and a little dried oregano. All right. Very nice. Then I've got a marinara or you could also do a tomato sauce but I picked this one up and again one of the things I'm always talking about um, as well is just label reading so like on this guy we've got organic tomatoes organic olive oil onion basil water organic carrot mm -hmm. sea salt organic garlic and black pepper yeah no preservatives no sugar I like it yeah and, and the name is familiar too Newman's own uh -huh. I mean it's yeah you know, so this they've is got a, brand a new brand, that brand it's with. for the common good they're mm -hmm. organic brand and yeah. it's very very clean awesome All all right, so we're going to go with a little bit of that. It looks great, too. Yeah, nice and chunky, yeah. not really liquid. Uh -huh. All right, then for our pizza, I guess, bit, we've got um, the recipe calls for pepperoni, but you could really use anything. So I've got a little bit of uh, prosciutto ham nice. and some salami. Nice. Now, the pepperoni is also there. part of the diet. Too. I mean, it's yeah, a lot of Yeah, you can have diet, pepperoni, right? but again, just kind of look at it and make sure it's not really like high in your sugar. Right, like right. you're getting something, okay. you know, more clean. Mm -hmm. so a little bit of clean eating. And then I picked up some fresh mozzarella. Oh, right? Yum. Yes. So I'm just going to take this guy and just start breaking that apart. And then we're going to put some chunks of that on top. Nice. We'll season this with some salt and pepper. And mm -hmm. then that is really it. We're going to let this go in the oven and really start to blister up and oh. melt everything together. And then this can be your dip. One thing, though, I was looking at this. The uh, salami might be a little bit big, so I might chop all that up. Yeah, yeah. Um, so that it would be easier to, to dip, dip and um, do than that. doing it whole. Gotcha, yeah. gotcha. Well, for this recipe and many other recipes, head on over to our website at wtvq.com forward slash Midday Kentucky. Um, make sure you click on the recipes tab or you can head over to Allison's website at wildtimecooking.com and she's also on Instagram too. At Chef Allison Davis. And we will be right back right after this short break.